This is to uh, Numbers Never Lie. Uh, Michael Smith, I was answering your question. You wanted to know why the Jets brought along Michael Vick. Well, it's simple. It's like, you know, it's like calling the bluff and, uh, you know, poker. See, what they didn't expect was that they had to really make a decision with upon playing Michael Vick. Um, they knew bringing Michael Vick that it would make, um, you know, Geno Smith play uh, better, you know, competition or whatever like that. But they never thought that it would come to the point where they really had to actually you know, this decision making with them putting Michael Vick in or whatever like that. That's why it's causing uh, controversy. Actually, I think it's pretty good that Michael Vick is there. I mean, that way, Geno Smith don't step up. I mean, maybe give him another year or two, you know what I'm saying, to learn and get things ready. And I mean, really, honestly, just give Michael Vick a chance to, you know what I'm saying, do what he do, you know what I'm saying, and pretty much try to get, you know, help as far as the defense of, you know what I'm saying, as far as like, you know, defensive backs and everything like that, because as I see on the stats on ESPN, you know, send.com, um, they have no interceptions. So, you know, and I know they had um, secondary problems. So that's what I would say, you know, just calling their bluff. So, I mean, they're what, 21st in passing, you know, and the, the positive thing they have, you know, they're second in rushing with 151 yards, 151.3. So that's a good thing. So, I mean, hopefully they can turn around and get things together. But, I mean, either he's going to have to play better or if he does another game like that, then they're probably going to have to, you know, send put a Michael Vick and give him a chance. I mean, I mean, you know, how worse can he do, you know? So just give him a chance. So.